Welcome to your Quest of Sports Update for the week of April 7th, 2014. I'm Peter Schuler, and softball is back in town for the final time of the regular season as they enjoy a three-game homestand. On Tuesday, the Cougars host Moore Park for a doubleheader, and on Thursday, Santa Barbara is in town. Cuesta picked up a win over the Raiders in Moore Park on March 13th and owns a pair of victories over the Vaqueros from the conference opener in Santa Barbara on March 4th. Thursday's game is scheduled to be part of the Cuesta TV project. I will be on the mic with the play-by-play -play and joined by former coach Allison Merzon. The broadcast will be shown tape delayed on Charter Channel 19 and also available on the Cuesta HD TV YouTube page. Softball picked up three Western State Conference wins and maintained their tie with local rival Allen Hancock atop the Western State Conference standings last week. They opened the week by sweeping a doubleheader in Ventura, 9-8 and 8-7, and the opener, right-hander Nicole Johnson, earned the win in relief and then picked up her third save of the season in the nightcap to preserve Delaney Furnace's victory. Johnson ended the week with another road victory after leading the Cougars past Oxnard 10-2 on Thursday. The Cougars are 23-10 overall and 10-2 in conference play. Shortstop Bree Ojala enjoyed a huge week for the Cougars and is building a historic season. She was 8-for-10 with three triples and eight RBI in the Cougars' three wins. Her bag average jumped from an astounding 517 to 546, which puts her ahead of All-State selection Karima Satani's school record of 542 set last season. Her 600 on base percentage is also currently ahead of another Mazutani mark. Ojala and the Cougars have six more games in the regular season and are also in good position to be the first Cuesta team since 2008 to extend their season into the playoffs. Track and Field sends its multi-sport athletes to the 2014 3CAA Regional Heptathlon Decathlon Meet this Tuesday and Wednesday at Mount San Antonio College in Walnut. The top performers in this meet will automatically qualify for the 2014 State Track and Field Championships. On Saturday, the rest of the team arrives in Walnut for the Mount Sac Invitational. 2013 State Heptathlon runner-up Riley Cooks will represent Cuesta's women, while Mateo Abreu represents the men in the decathlon at the 2014 regional meet. Cooks won six of her seven events at the Mount Sac Combined Challenge on February 22nd and has set personal best in four of her seven events this season. Cooks owns the Cuesta Heptathlon record of 4,704 points, and her February score of 4,313 is the second highest score in Cuesta history. Abreu finished 14th out of the, among the 20 finishing competitors at the challenge. Abreu scored 5,002 points and as his best finish in the high jump, he tied for fourth at six foot one. Track and field traveled to Costa Mesa for the Coast Invitational at Orange Coast College last week. Pole vaulter Haley Fish, a Cuesta Sports Update favorite, was the only event winner for the women and hurdler DeAnthony White was the only member of the men's team to reach the top of the podium. Fish easily won her event with a modest leap for her of 10 feet, while White's time of 16-12 in the 110 hurdles is more than a half second behind his season best. The Cougars also added one mark to the school's all-time top 10. Steepler Rebecca Oliveras cleared the course in 13 minutes and 7.83 seconds, which moved her to the number seven spot all-time in the steeplechase. Baseball played three Western State Conference games this week as the Cougars chase a double-digit season win total. The Cougars begin the week at home with number 6 Santa Barbara on Tuesday and unranked Ventura on Thursday. The Cougars travel to play the Pirates in Ventura on Saturday. Cuesta is three games behind Ventura for fifth place in the 16th circuit. The Cougars began last week with a win over number 10 Pierce, 7-6 and slow. Reliever Jackson Jennis hurled six and a third innings of shutout relief for the win. On Thursday, the Brahmas scored early and big on Cuesta starter Scott Romick and held off the Cougars to earn a 10-7 split in Woodland Hills. On Saturday, Gentis came out of the bullpen to shut down number 6 Santa Barbara. However, an unearned run in the bottom of the 10th inning gave the game to the Vaqueros 4-3. Gentis was 1-1 one one last week and pitched 10 innings over two games. He allowed only one earned run over that span while allowing four hits and two walks. He also leads the Cougars with a 3.19 ERA and two wins on the season. Cuesta is 7-21 overall and 2-10 in conference play. Cuesta has not missed the playoffs since 1995, which is also the last time the Cougars were under 500. Swimming and diving is pounding out the yardage in the pool as they prepare for the 2014 Western State Conference Championships, which began on April 17th in Van Nuys. They do not have any meets before the championships. That does it for your Quest of Sports update for the week of April 7th, 2014. I'm Peter Schuler, and I will see you at the games.